portraits from Fayum, half Greek, half African, and yet Jewish. And this quote is from the book, The American Scandinavian Review, page 407. Subscribe, like, and share. Universal Center for Renovation presents the Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. World Book Encyclopedia Book A Volume 1 Article African American Most African Americans have used five terms to refer to themselves. The term Negro which means black in Spanish and Portuguese and colored was commonly used until the mid 1960s. This is a direct quote from the article African Americans. In addition to dark brown skin, most members of this race have brown eyes, dark woolly or curly hair. This is from the 1987 edition. African Americans are Americans mostly or partly of African descent. The African background, the cultural heritage, the ancestors of most American blacks came from an area of West Africa known as the Western Sudan from about AD 300 to 1391, three highly developed black empires in turn controlled all or most of the Western Sudan. These empires were Ghana, Mali, and Songhai. This is from the 1987 edition. Let's quote the World Book Encyclopedia one more time. African Americans are mostly or partly of African descent. Now let's quote from our article. How African is Black America? Average ancestry of the African American population by racial ethnic category from Black Demographics blackdemographics.com source calculated by blackdemographics.com using the average of five genealogical DNA testing research companies as cited by Henry Louis Gates Jr. article exactly how black is black America dated February the 11th 2013 quoting the article blackgemographics.com the black African American population is one of the most unique groups in the United States Almost all descendants of American slaves are mixed with some European and Native American blood. Henry Louis Gates Jr., a Founce Fletcher University professor and director of the Hutchinson Center for African and African American Research at Harvard University, published an article 
after consulting five genealogical DNA testing research companies, answering the question, how much African ancestry does the average African American have? The results are as follows. The results are as follows. From the company Ancestry.com, Sub-Sahara African, 65%, European, 29%, Native American, 2%, Other, 4%. From the company 23andMe.com, Sub-Sahara African, 75%, European, 22%, Native American, 0.06%, Other, 3%. From the company, FamilyTreeDNA.com, Sub-Sahara African, 73%, European, 23%, Native American, 2%, Other, 2%. From the company National Geographic's Genographic Project, Sub-Sahara African, 80%. European, 19%. Native American, 1%. Other, 0%. From the company African DNA, Sub-Sahara African, 79%. European, 2%. Native American, 1%. Other, 2%. He, he meaning Professor Louis Gates Jr., he also discovered a whopping 35% of all African American men descend from a white male ancestor who fathered a mulatto child sometime in the slavery era, most probably from rape or coerced sexuality. This last statement was and is misinformation. The mulatto child not from coerced sexuality. This is a partly true statement, but not entirely correct. A harmless mistake because of a lack of important historical background information. The 35% was correct. And the European male was accurate, but the women were not raped nor sexually coerced, but married to dark-skinned Iberian, Portuguese, and Spanish Jews. How African is Black America? According to blackdemographics.com average ancestry of the African American population by racial ethnic category would be 22% European 74% Sub-Sahara African 1% Native American other two percent now if it would be a more accurate DNA study it would read like this number one 22 percent European would be Portuguese Spanish Jews, Western Sephardic, Southern Kingdom of Judah. Number two, 
74% Jews of Balad el Sudan. West African Jewish communities. Southern Kingdom of Judah. Number three. One percent Native American, Northern Kingdom of Israel. Number four, two percent others, Black Portuguese, Portuguese Jews, East Asian Portuguese colonies, as Madagascar, Philippines, Goa, etc. Southern Kingdom of Judah. Southern Kingdom of Judah equates to the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Northern Kingdom of Israel equals lost tribes. Percentage of DNA. Number one, 22% European. Portuguese and Spanish Jews, Western Sephardic, Southern Kingdom of Judah, African American on average has 22% European DNA. African American, 22% European DNA would be Portuguese. And Spanish European DNA African American 22% European DNA means 22% DNA of Portuguese and Spanish or Western Sephardic Jews DNA African American 22% DNA Western Sephardic Jews indicates the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. The African American 22% DNA translate to the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Of the southern kingdom of Judah. For a more detailed explanation for number one, 22% European DNA of Portuguese and Spanish Jews, Western Sephardic descent, return to the article from Wikipedia Jews of Balad El Sudan and read a direct quote from the article. In later years, Jews who were expelled from Spain, Portugal, and Morocco and migrated to West Africa also formed their own communities off the coast of Senegal as well as on the island of Cape Verde. These Jewish communities continued to exist for hundreds of years but they eventually disappeared as a result of changing social conditions, persecution, migration, and assimilation. Portuguese and Spanish Jews assimilated into the West African pre-existing communities of Jews. Wikipedia Jews of Balad El Sudan Jews of the Balal Al Sudan Judeo Arabic Ahail, Yahawada, or Yehudi, Balad, Allah, Sayadan, describes West African Jewish communities 
In latter years, Jews who were expelled from Spain, Portugal, and Morocco and migrated to West Africa also formed their own communities off the coast of Senegal as well as on the islands of Cape Verde. These Jewish communities continued to exist for hundreds of years but they eventually disappeared as a result of changing social conditions, persecution, migrations, and assimilation. Western Sephardic Jews assimilated with the Jews of Balad el Sudan. Manuel I of Portugal in 1496 decided to exile thousands of Jews to Sao Tome, Principe, and Cape Verde. The numbers expelled at this time were so great that the term Portuguese almost implied those of Jewish origin. King Manuel the first of Portugal Manuel the first of Portugal known as the fortunate King of Portugal from 1495 to 1521 a member of the house of Avish Manuel began the Portuguese colonization of the Americas. Wikipedia article Jews of Balad el Sudan Manuel I in 1496 decided to exile thousands of Jews to Sa Tome Principe and Cape Verde. The numbers expelled at this time were so great that the term Portuguese almost implied those of Jewish origin. Negro Slavery in Latin America A book by Rolando Malafe Translated by J.W.S. Judge On page 68 Direct quote At the end of the 16th century And in the first half of the 17th The great center of the slave trade was Sa Tome Page 68 Negro Slavery in Latin America A book by Rolando Malafe Translated by J.W.S. Judge On page 68 Direct quote At the end of the 16th century And in the first half of the 17th The great center of the slave trade was Sa Tome, page 68. This is a direct quote from the Critical Review or Annals of Literature, volume 57. King John II in 1492 expelled all the Jews to the island of St. Thomas, Sa Tome. These banished Jews, the black Portuguese as they are called, page 141. Wikipedia article, Spanish and Portuguese Jews. In addition to the term Western Sephardim, this subgroup of Sephardic Jews is sometimes also referred to also as Spanish and Portuguese Jews, Spanish Jews, Portuguese 
Jews or Jews of the Portuguese nation. Wikipedia article Spanish and Portuguese Jews. In addition to the term Western Sephardim, this subgroup of Sephardic Jews is sometimes also referred to also as Spanish and Portuguese Jews, Spanish Jews, Portuguese Jews, or Jews of the Portuguese nation. Who is black? One nation's definition. A book by Floyd James Davis. Chapter 1 The Nation's Rule Page 3 Wikipedia article Lena Horn Lena Mary Calhoun Horn born June 30th 1917 died May 9th 2010 was an American dancer, actress, Grammy winning singer, and civil rights activist. Horn's career spanned over 70 years, appearing in film, television, and theater. Horn joined the chorus of the Cotton Club at the age of 16 and became a nightclub performer before moving to Hollywood. Lena Horn was born in Bedford, Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. Both sides of her family were African American, with a mixture of African, Native American, and European ancestry. She belonged to the upper stratum of middle class, well educated black people. She was reportedly descended from the John C. Calhoun family. From the book, Who is Black? On the History or Ancestry of Lena Horn. A direct quote from page 3. Her mother's father was a Portuguese Negro. Portuguese Negro. Page 3. From the book, who is black on the history or ancestry of Lena Horn? A direct quote from page three. Her mother's father was a Portuguese Negro. Portuguese Negro, page three. July 24th. 1769 to be sold on Thursday the third day of August next a cargo of 94 prime healthy Negroes consisting of 39 men 15 boys 24 women and 16 girls just arrived at the Brigantine Dimbia Francis Beer, master from Sierra Leone, by David and John Dees. To be sold, a cargo of Negroes. Portuguese Negroes. Her mother's father was a Portuguese Negro. Lena Horn. Portuguese Negroes. Negro means black. Black Portuguese. Negro means black in the Portuguese language. B. 
Spanish Jews, the black Portuguese, as they are called, from the book The Critical Review or Annals of Literature, volume 57, page 141. Jews are called black Portuguese, Portuguese Negroes. A cargo of Portuguese Negroes banished Jews, the black Portuguese, as they are called. English to Portuguese language, Google Translator, black Portuguese equal Portuguese Negro. Zondervan Bible Dictionary Negroes are not from the line of Ham. Source Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary This is perhaps one of the best known references found within a major publication. The choice of words indicate that the Negroes are from the line of Shem. Ham, Ham, perhaps hot, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites, Genesis 10, 6 through 20. Ham, the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. Fort Most, Colonial America's Black Fortress of Freedom by Kathleen Dogan and Darcy McMahon. Fort Most, Colonial America's Black Fortress of Freedom, page 9. The first slaves in the Americas were not African, and the first Africans in the Americas were not slaves. Black sailors, soldiers, servants, and settlers arrived in the Americas in the 15th century, along with the earliest Europeans. These first black colonists were from Spain rather than Africa and were known as Ladinos. Juan Las Canarias was a black sailor who served on Columbus flagship the Santa Maria during the first transatlantic voyage in 1492. Juan Las Canarias from Spain known as Ladinos. Ladinos the first African Americans. Atlantic Africa in the Spanish Caribbean 1570 through 1640 by David Wheat Atlantic Creoles who would have been known in African and Luso African contexts as Ladinos, Christos, or simply Portuguese, page 229. Atlantic Creoles, who would have been known in African and Luso-African context as 
Ladinos, Cristos, or simply Portuguese. These people, Atlantic Creoles, were known as number one, Ladinos, number two, Luso Africans, also known as Portuguese Africans, number three, Cristos, meaning New Christians, and number four, Portuguese, meaning Jews. The rise of the transatlantic slave trade in Western Africa, 1300 through 1589, by Toby Green. The Glossary Ladino A non-Iberian, e.g., meaning, for example, Jews, slaves, who speak Spanish. The rise of the transatlantic slave trade in Western Africa, 1300 through 1589, Toby Green, Glossary again, definition, Christos Novos. The Portuguese term for Jews who had converted to Christianity and Spanish Christianos Novos. Merriam Webster Dictionary Ladino Definition number two Capitalize Judeo-Spanish from Old Spanish Judeo-Spanish Ladinos Judeo-Spanish also called Atlantic Creoles Wikipedia article Atlantic Creole Atlantic Creole is a term used in North America to describe a cultural group of Americans who have ancestral roots in Africa, Europe, and sometimes the Caribbean. These people are culturally American and are the descendants of enslaved people and indentured workers during the European colonization of the Americas before 1660. Some have lived and worked in Europe or the Caribbean before coming or being transported to North America. Enslaved peoples lived and worked in Europe before North America. Castile, Spain by Christoph Waditz, Trachtenbach, 1529. Christoph Waditz, Trachtenbach, 1529, Spain, drummer of the emperor. Fifteen twenty nine Barcelona, Spain. Fifteen twenty nine Women in the Streets of Granada, Spain. Fifteen twenty nine How Women Dress in the Home, Granada, Spain. 1529 Spain Man 
travels with his wife and child over the country for pleasure. Continuation from the article Atlantic Creole History The historian Ira Berlin 1998 identified the arrival of the Atlantic Creoles in the Chesapeake Bay region in the 17th century. Berlin writes that Atlantic Creoles were among what he called the charter generation of slaves in the Chesapeake colonies. Through the first 50 years of settlement, lines were fluid between black and white workers. Often, both worked off passage as indentured servants. The working class lived together, and many white women and black men developed relationships. Many of the new generation of Creoles born in the colonies were the children of European indentured servants and bonded or enslaved workers of primarily West African ancestry. Some Native Americans were also enslaved and some Indian slaves were brought to North America from the Caribbean, Central and South America. According to Berlin, some of these mixed race Atlantic Creoles were culturally what today is called Latino in the United States as they were descendants from Portuguese and Spanish fathers. The Atlantic Creoles intermarried with their European neighbors, adopted European surnames, became property owners and farmers, and owned slaves in turn. The families became well established and numerous free descendants by the time of the American Revolution. Many white women and black men developed relationships and Latinos were culturally what today is called Latinos, also Atlantic Creoles. Wikipedia article Atlantic Creoles Southern U.S. Atlantic Creoles Tidewater Creoles The first Africans in Virginia were from parts of Angola that was settled by the Portuguese since the late 15th century. Many were multilingual and baptized. This creolization is attributed as the possible reason why some were able to gain freedom in colonial Virginia and Maryland. Eventually, slave codes began to solidify, which splintered Tidewater Creoles. Some were able to pass and merge into white communities, while some became Melungeons, people. Others became free people of color, while the rest became enslaved black populations. One. From Angola, settled by Portuguese, multilingual and baptized, Catholic Christians. Number two, some were able to pass for white and merge into white communities. Number three, some became Malungan people. Number four, other became free people of color. Number five, the rest became enslaved black populations. Atlantic Creole Miguel de Castro Congos or Angola ambassador to the Netherlands 1641 number one from Angola settled by the Portuguese multilingual and baptized Catholic Christians Atlantic Creole Anatole Paul Broyard, American writer and literary critic and editor. Number two, 
some were able to pass for white and merge into the white communities. Atlantic Creoles passing for white which is Negro, which is white. Quiz from Ebony Magazine, April 1952. Wikipedia article, African heritage of presidents of the United States. Thomas Jefferson, Andrew Jackson, Abraham Lincoln, Warren G. Harding, Calvin Coolidge, Dwight D. Eisenhower, American presidents passing for white. Wikipedia article, Presidents with African Ancestry, Thomas Jefferson, Fawn and others claim Thomas Jefferson mother Jane Randolph Jefferson. Thomason Jefferson was a mean spirited son of a half-breed Indian squaw and a Virginia mulatto father. Wikipedia article Andrew Jackson his mother intermarried with a Negro a rumor of Jackson having colored blood, meaning having Negro ancestry. Wikipedia article, Presidents with African Heritage, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln had very dark skin. Abraham Lincoln described himself around 1838 to 1839 as black. A direct quote from the book Lincoln's America 1809 to 1865 each spring and fall often from February to June and from September to Christmas, Lincoln jogged about the 8th Judicial Circuit, first on horseback, later in a one-seated gig behind Old Buck. A nag described as an indifferent raw bone specimen. Rose were quagmires in the spring, dusty in the summer and fall. Rivers and streams often had to be forded don't you remember a long black fellow who rode on horseback with you from Tremont to Springfield nearly 10 years ago? Swimming your horses over the Mackinac, Lincoln asked a chance acquaintance while in Congress. Well, I am that same fellow yet. Page 124. Abraham Lincoln cartoon of 1860 original sources not known appears in David Broder's ordeal of the presidency note his woolly hair from the Wikipedia article presidents with African heritage Warren G. Harding. Warren G. Harding was said to have African ancestry. Harding's father was a mulatto and Harding's great grandmother was black and that other blacks might be found in his family tree. Source the six black presidents, black blood, white masks.
USA, page 220, Warren G. Harding and his black uncle, Oliver Harding. Albert Muffley, September 1932, and J.A. Rogers pamphlet cover the five Negro presidents. The black author of Warren G. Harding, U.S. President, 29, Death by Blackness, 2005, she states that Harding's black ancestors escaped slavery in the South by the North by way of the Underground Railroad and that she ought to know because she's Harding's fifth cousin. She traces their common ancestors right back to the black settlers of Isabella Montcalm and Mecosta counties in central Michigan. Warren Harding's immediate family remained in Ohio, but other branches moved to Michigan, according to Miss Stewart who said those are the Hardings from whom she is descended. Michigan branch of the Harding family. From the Wikipedia article, Presidents with African Heritage. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Dwight D. Eisenhower's mother was said to be of mixed blood from Africa and mulatto. Dwight J. Eisenhower and Ida Stover Eisenhower, Dwight's parents, It is said that Eisenhower's mother, Ida Elizabeth Stover Eisenhower, was a woman of color. Something about a mysterious maternal grandfather who carried the surname of Link. And there being only two Link's families in the Virginia town they originated in, a black one and a white one. And something about interviews conducted with elderly area blacks during the 1950s who long remembered the reference to Eisenhower's mother as that black link gal. More interesting still is that Harding attended college at Iberia College renamed Ohio Central College a school in Iberia Ohio founded to educate fugitive slaves. From the Wikipedia article, Presidents with African Heritage. Calvin Coolidge. Calvin Coolidge's mother, Victoria Moore, was claimed to be of a mixed race family in Vermont. Atlantic Creoles. Arch Goines and family, Malungans from Graysville, Tennessee, 1920. Number three, some became Malungan people. Famous Malungans, Atlantic Creoles, Abraham Lincoln. Elvis Presley, Ava Gardner. From genealogy.com. Shalom and hey y'all. Jewish American Indians in the Old South by Kevin Garrett and Dr. Donald Panther Yates. The mysterious Malungan ethnic group that has long baffled southern anthropologists is Sephardic Jewish. They are also known as Ladino, Portuguese, Iberian, and Western Jews.
Atlantic Creoles, number four. Others became free people of color. Atlantic Creoles, free people of color. Atlantic Creoles. Number five. The rest became enslaved black populations. Atlantic Creoles. Seminole people of Florida and Oklahoma, Creoles and Maroons, many have Seminole lineage and also a stigma of having dark skin. Wikipedia article Atlantic Creole Seminole Creoles The Seminole Creoles are a population associated with the Seminole people in Florida and Oklahoma. They are mostly originators of the Seminole people. Africans, Creoles, and escaped enslaved people called Maroons who allied with Seminole groups in Spanish Florida. Many have Seminole lineage, but due to the stigma of having dark skin, they all have been categorized as slaves or freemen. Atlantic Creoles Seminole, Chief Billy Bowlegs. Billy Bowlegs, the third. Billy Bowlegs, the third. Billy Bowlegs, the third. Billy Farewell, aka Kofi Hepeki. 1862 to 1865 was a Seminole elder who was also of African American descent. He was a tribal historian in Florida. He was named Billy Farewell by his African American father and Seminole mother. His maternal grandfather was Asiola. Atlantic Creoles, Seminole leader, Arcelo. Arcelo, a Seminole chief of Indian and Negro descent. Source, Joe Rogers, 100 Amazing Facts About the Negro. From the book, African Creeks. Elstelfsti and the Creek Nation, page 3. The first recorded contact between Africans and the Southeastern Indians began when several black members of Hernando de Soto's expedition deserted and found refuge in various Indian chiefdoms they encountered. During their entrada, which is Spanish for entry or to enter, through the southeast in 1540. Seminole Indian The book Ira Berlin, Many Thousands Gone the first two centuries of slavery in North America. During the 16th and 17th centuries, the bulk of Europe's population of African descent resided on the Iberian Peninsula, and the vast majority of them there lived in demeaning life of slaves. Some however escaped bondage and took their familiar place among the Atlantic 
Creoles as sailors, interpreters, peddlers, petty merchants, and artisans in the great Iberian ports. As Europeans expanded their reach across the Atlantic, Creole peoples of African descent migrated with them, some willingly and some not. Men of color drawn from Creole communities of Europe accompanied Columbus to the Americas and marched with De Soto. Hernando de Soto, Hernando de Soto, born around 1500, died May 21st, 1542, was a Spanish explorer and conquistador, but is best known for leading the first European expedition deep into the territory of the modern day United States through Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi and most likely Arkansas. He is the first European documented as having crossed the Mississippi River. Proposed route of the De Soto expedition. Lands of the Seminole Creek and Cherokee. The book, The African Americans, Many Rivers to Cross by Henry Louis Gates Jr. and Dono Iacovoni. During the 16th and 17th centuries, the bulk of Europe's population of African descent resided on the Iberian Peninsula, and the vast majority of them there lived the demeaning life of slaves. Some, however, escaped bondage and took their familiar place among the Atlantic Creoles as sailors, interpreters, peddlers, petty merchants, and artisans in the great Iberian ports. As Europeans expanded their reach across the Atlantic, Creole peoples of African descent migrated with them, some willingly, some not. Men of color drawn from Creole communities of Europe accompanied Columbus to the Americas and marched with De Soto, page 25, Atlantic Creoles marched with De Soto. Ira Berlin, many thousands gone, the first two centuries of slavery in North America. They spoke a variety of African and European languages, weighed strongly towards Portuguese, but from this seeming babble emerged a pidgin form of speech that borrowed its vocabulary from all parties and created a grammar unique unto itself, derisively called Fala de Guinea or Fala de Negros, literally Guinea speech or Negro speech by the Portuguese and Black Portuguese by others. This Creole language became the lingua franca of the Atlantic. The language of the Atlantic Creoles, Guinea speech, Negro speech, Black Portuguese. To be sold, a cargo of Portuguese Negroes. Banish Jews, the black Portuguese as they are called, 
The Critical Review or Annals of Literature, Volume 57, page 141. Jews are called Black Portuguese. Seminole Indians. Seminole family. Black Indians in the United States. Black Indians are Native American people defined as Native American due to being affiliated with Native American communities and being culturally Native American who also have significant African American heritage. Seminole and Cherokee, etc. Native American communities and black Indians, American Indian with African ancestry, related ethnic groups, Atlantic Creole, 1900s photo of a Comanche family. Native American communities and Black Indians, American Indians with African ancestry, related ethnic groups, Atlantic Creole, 1910 Ute family. On the average, Black America or the African American population has about 22% European DNA and that 22% European DNA will be Portuguese, Atlantic Creoles and Western Sephardic Jews. Seventy four percent of African Americans DNA are derived from the Jews of the Balad El Sudan. Part 2 74% Jews of the Balad Sudan. Jews of West Africa. Next. Coming soon Israelites in China. Coming soon Israelites in Europe. The Vikings. Coming soon, Israelites in Europe. Christian Byzantine Empire. Subscribe, like, and share.